Hey guys, this is Arvind here from Mind Magics, and today I welcome you all to this amazing session on Kamunda tutorial. So let's have a quick look at the agenda for today's session. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, firstly we'll be discussing what exactly is Kamunda. Okay, and after that we will be discussing some of its features. Okay, the next crucial point would be why at all do we need Kamunda? Okay, and then we will have a look at the architecture part of Kamunda, in which you will get an idea of the overall working of Kamunda as a platform. And finally, we will conclude this session by a use case wherein we will see how a multinational company adopted Kamunda and solved its business problem. Okay, I hope you're very much clear with the agenda, pretty much simple. So before moving ahead, I want you guys to subscribe to Mind Magic's YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from us. So without any further delay, let's get started. Okay. So let's move ahead with our first point. So the first point here is what exactly is Kamunda? So before knowing what exactly is Kamunda, there are a few terms that you must be aware of. So the first term here is business process. Okay, so before moving to the definition of Kamunda, we'll quickly have a look at the definitions of these four terms. Okay, so the first point here is business process. A business process is a series of steps performed by a group of stakeholders to achieve a precise goal. Okay, so each precise task in the business process is aligned to a participator. Further, business process is the fundamental building block for several related ideas such as business process management, process automation, and so on. Okay, the second term here is business process management. So it is nothing but a discipline where an organization will look at its processes in total and individually. It analyzes the current states and identifies the areas of improvement to create a more efficient and effective organization. The next point here is the workflow. A workflow consists of a set of technologies and tools that enables documents, information, activities, and tasks to flow appropriately in an organization. Okay. And the last point here is the business process modeling. So business process modeling or process modeling is a graphical representation or put simply an illustration of an organization's business processes. Okay, so this makes it a critical component of the effective business process management. So these were the terms that you must be aware of before moving to the definition of Kamunda. Okay, so I believe right now is the best time to know the definition of Kamunda. Okay. So what exactly is Kamunda? So Kamunda is an open source Java based framework that supports business processes or you can say BPMN for workflow and process automation, CMMN for case management and DMN for business decision management. The workflow engine and the complaint decision engine can be embedded in the Java applications as well as other applications using REST API which are exposed by Kamunda. Okay, so this was a quick definition of Kamunda. So let's move on to the next part wherein we will discuss the features of Kamunda. Okay, so the first feature is work together to design business processes and automate decisions. So Kavimo is then easy to use collaboration solution for sustainable business IT alignment. It allows business analysts, project managers and developers to work together in real time when designing the automated processes human workflows and business decision tables. So when you combine Kamunda Modeler with Kavimo, a user-friendly desktop application that gives developers powerful features for designing and deploying processes and decision tables using BPMN and DMN, which are the global standard for processes and decision modeling. The next feature here is automate complex business process from end to end. So processes are the algorithms that determine how an organization runs and they include many different steps, systems, components, and endpoints across different technologies. So the workflow engine in Kamunda orchestrates the processes that span APIs, microservices, human work, IoT device, RPA bots, and so on, so that you have complete control and visibility for your most critical business processes. Okay, the next feature here is with Kamunda, you get started fast with a ready to use interface for your business. So task list is an out of the box web application in Kamunda that's tightly integrated with the Kamunda's process orchestration capabilities. 
So simply model a business process and deploy it to the workflow engine. So when a user needs to work on a task, they'll see it appear in the task list. Okay, so as we are discussing this feature, I've also attached a few screenshots here so that you'll get an idea of exactly what we are discussing. Okay, so in this video, you can pause the video and you can have a look at this screenshot. And then you can, once you have understood the screenshot, then you can move to the next point. So the fourth feature here is discover, analyze, and solve issues before they impact end users. Okay, so Cockpit delivers a real-time view of BPMN process and DMN decision tables as they run so that you can monitor their status and quickly identify technical incidents that slow down or stop the workflows. So Cockpit provides the data that you need to analyze incidents and quickly take action to ensure end users aren't stuck in a workflow that is going nowhere. Okay, so as we are discussing these features like cockpit, task list, decision engine, workflow engine, so these are all the components and nitty gritties of Kamunda. Okay, so once you start working with them, you'll get a clear picture of the functioning of these components. Okay, so let's move on to the next feature. Okay, so the next feature here is with Kamunda, you continuously improve your business processes. So optimize, which is a component of Kamunda, gives you the intelligence you need to continuously improve your business processes and automated decisions. You can uncover process bottlenecks and other performance issues in easy to understand reports and dashboards that can be shared with the technical teams and business stakeholders. Okay, so these were some of the features of Kamunda. Now you must be wondering why at all do we need Kamunda or why we should select Kamunda among other its competitors. Okay, so on the screen, as you can see, there are four reasons why you should select Kamunda or why you, do you need Kamunda for your business. Okay, so the first point here is the end-to-end -end orchestration. So with Kamunda, you can design, automate, and improve all the components of the entire business process end-to-end -end across different technologies, systems, infrastructures, peoples, and devices. Okay, so the second point here is standards-based business IT collaboration. So with Kamunda, you can be rest assured that your business processes run exactly the way you want by relying on the power of BPMN and DMN standards as common language for developers and business stakeholders alike throughout the entire process automation life cycle. Okay, the third point here is the open architecture. So Kamunda fits into diverse and complex enterprise environments and technology stack and this can be possible using the open and scalable architecture of Kamunda. It provides a highly scalable platform based upon open components that can be easily integrated with most common technical architectures or frameworks. Okay, and the last reason or the last point here is the developer-friendly approach. So with Kamunda, it is important to provide developers with the best experience. The platform and the tools are easy to get started and you can use it in your environment right away with full public access to the documentation, open APIs to integrate with just about anything. And you also get a huge community support from the developers across the globe. Okay, so these were some of the reasons that you should select Kamunda for your business. So now let's move on to the next part. And here we will discuss the architecture of Kamunda. Okay. So Kamunda platform is a Java-based framework. The main components are written in Java, and we have a general focus on providing Java developers with the tools that they need for designing, implementing, and running business processes and workflows on the JVM, or the Java Virtual Machine. So nevertheless, we also want to make the process engine technology available to the non-Java developers. So this is the reason why Kamunda platform also provides a REST API which allows you to build applications connecting to the remote process engine. So Kamunda platform can be used both as a standalone process engine server or embedded inside custom Java applications. The embeddability requirement is at the heart of many architectural decisions with Kamunda platform. For example, when you have to work hard to make the process engine component a lightweight component with as many little dependencies as possible, and that too on third-party libraries as possible. So furthermore, 
embeddability motivates programming model choices such as the capabilities of the process engine to participate in the spring managed or the JTA transactions and the threading model. Okay, so for more reference, you can refer to the diagram that is present on your screen right now. Okay, so this is the overall functioning of Kamunda. So let's move on to the next point. Okay, so here we are going to discuss a use case. Okay, so the main idea behind discussing a use case is that how can an organization adopt Kamunda for solving their business process management and automation problems? Okay, so here we are going to discuss the example of Atlassian, which is a very big company. Okay, and how they adopted Kamunda and how they solved their business problems. Open source software provider Kamunda has recently announced that Atlassian has selected Kamunda as its business rules and business process automation technology for a range of application and use cases spanning across various domains such as finance, commerce, marketing, customer support, and so on. So Kamunda software will support Atlassian's enterprise-wide business process automation initiatives, which will help them make business process operations more efficient. Okay, so as you all know, Atlassian is a global software company with more than 4,000 employees that makes software to help teams organize and discuss and complete their work. With Kamunda BPM or the business process management, Atlassian's development teams gain access to a complete business process automation tech stack with powerful execution engines for BPM and workflows and DM and decisions paired with essential applications for modeling, operations and analytics. Okay, so one of the initial projects that will utilize Kamunda's business process and decision automation capabilities to integrate with a new software as a service based accounting platform. And this will help centralize finance workflows and revenue recognition processes. Okay, so several additional projects will follow including process automation for Salesforce, lead management and routing customer support cases. Okay. So Atlassian has selected Kamunda for its high throughput performance, ability to support collaboration among IT and business users, and interoperability with a wide variety of development environments that includes Java, Python, and Node.js. Okay, so Kamunda provides a unique developer-friendly approach to process automation that is both scalable and standards-based, and this allows IT and business teams to work together efficiently. So Kamunda's flexible deployment options align with Atlassian's requirements for BPM and process automation, providing Spring Boot and embedded deployment strategies as a part of Atlassian's microservices architecture. Okay, so this was how Atlassian adopted Kamunda and they solved their business problems in a very efficient manner. This was all about Kamunda. Okay, so the basic objective of this video was to give the users or the audience an idea of what exactly is Kamunda and how does it work. Okay, and in the end part of this session, we also saw how an organization can adopt Kamunda. Okay, and with Kamunda, they can benefit immensely. Okay, so this was all about this session on Kamunda tutorial. I hope you have got a fair idea about what Kamunda is and how does it work. Okay, if you have any queries related to this session, you can write your queries in the comments box and my team is here to solve all your doubts and queries. Okay, so thank you so much for being with us and all the best.